Hey guys, welcome back. And I would like to show you a new way to cook that I never thought would actually be possible. This is called the Wonder Bag. And it is eco-friendly. Um, it helps out a lot of people in undeveloped countries where it's very expensive to buy wood, coal, or gas. And most of them don't have electricity. Um, in the developing areas and so Sarah Collins is the one that invented this bag and it's really kind of really neat because all you gotta do is heat up your food um, to a boiling point your your stew or your soup or whatever you would normally slow cook in your crock pot you could do it in the Wonder Bag and the neat thing is it has no electricity it is just a very well insulated bag really and you bring your stuff to a boil and then you pl place the pot into the wonder bag and then you just zip it back closed and then you can leave it in here for 12 or even longer 15 hours the food won't scorch it won't burn um, there's no evaporation of the liquid so you know water is a scarce thing in some of the developing countries so you know they, it doesn't have evaporation if you cook it in here. So anyway, so we are going to make a simple 15 bean soup with uh, pork. So we're going to get started on that and I'm going to show you how to use the Wonder Bag. Also, just so you know, Amazon.com, you can buy the Wonder Bag. It is $50, which is kind of expensive, but I was willing to pay it because for everyone that is paid for, for the $50, another one is given to a needy family to use. Um, so I think that's worth the $50. So we're going to get started. We'll be right back. Okay, guys, so we're going to start our 15 bean soup with homemade broth that I've been uh, simmering on the stove now for a few hours. And it is evaporating very nicely for condensed stock. And all I'm going to do is take this and I'm going to strain it into another pot. Okay, and you can either use cheesecloth if you've got it. Or you can use just coffee filters. So we're just going to use a coffee filter. I don't even drink coffee, but I still have coffee So the first filters. thing I'm going to do is add my beans to my pot. My pork, which I'm using... Uh, boneless uh, pork ribs or pork loin country ribs whatever whichever one you want to call it because my family likes this type of pork. So I'm going to add my pork however much of it I want to use to the pot. I can get it out. It's still a little bit frozen. So I'm just going to put it in chunks and put the pork in. So here's my strainer with my coffee filter in it and take the spoon off of there Steve. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so okay so with a little bit of help of course we're just going to try to get the liquid and not all the bones into here. Ready? And you could strain it into another vessel if you wanted but yeah. might as well just do it this way. Okay guys so I've got it filled with the stock which is hot, but you got to remember the beans and the uh, pork are cold. So I've turned my oven top on to um, about high, actually. And now I'm just going to take my herbs here, which I have in my little herb keeper. It keeps my herbs fresher a little bit longer. And, whoops take a couple of stalks of the thyme and just throw them in because you can fish out the stems later so we're not too worried about that so just put that all in I need one more and then I'm gonna take a little bit of my rosemary here and I'm gonna go ahead and put that in whole And take some sage, which I'm just going to roughly chop with my fingers. And add and put that in. A dried bay leaf because I couldn't find any fresh at the store. 
and then we're going to add some more or some pepper to this. Just however much you want. And I have some uh, wild garlic sea salt. Put a good pinch of that in there. Maybe two. So you really need to flavor it because if you don't, it's not going to have any flavor. Savory herb with garlic. Uh, soup packets here. In fact, I have one open that I used part of it for a bread recipe when I made onion bread the other day. And since this is basically just uh, seasonings with a little bit of corn, or a little bit of cornstarch in there, we're going to add that just to be sure that we can get some more flavor. So now we're just going to mix this all in. And let this get to a boil and then I will show you whoops sorry about that it's all right then we'll take it to the wonder bag all right guys so all I've done is taken a towel and put it inside the wonder bag the reason being is because you cannot wash this you can spot clean it but you can't just stick it into the washer you'll ruin it so um, just to help with any spills, put a towel in. And the beans and pork are coming to a boil, so I'll bring you right back in just a moment. Okay guys, so here's our pot. I brought it to a good boil. Now I'm just going to wrap it with my towel and pull up the sides of the Wonder Bag. it's all tucked under put our little hat on it oops let me back up a little bit here guys put our little hat on it and tuck it down and then pull the string tight here this is going to cook for about 10 to 12 hours in the Wonder Bag. Once you have it closed, don't open it. You don't want to be peeking. You don't want to be looking at it. Because you got to remember, there is no other source of heat for this besides the pot that you brought to a boil. So if you go opening it so you can take a look at it, you're going to let all the heat out. And then the Wonder Bag's not going to do its job. So, with that, I'm just going to leave it right here on the table for right now. And I will bring you guys back in about 10 to 12 hours. Alright guys, um, so we're back. It's been about 12 hours, 13 hours. I meant to actually check it earlier just to see if it was done at about 10 hours, but... I think I've got the blue touch. Back very warm. Let's take a look. Check the beans out a little bit here. They look nice and soft. Let me see. Mmm. Very Let me see here. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to eat very much of this, guys. My stomach's not gonna handle it. At least take a taste. That is Other so that, good. This is perfect. You know, you put it on the stove. You uh, bring it to a boil in the pot. Put it inside the Wonder Bag. Let it be. Uh, beans take the longest, by the way. I should say that. Not every meal is going to take 12 hours in the Wonder Bag, okay? Um, if you're just doing a soup... You know, a noodle soup or a rice soup, you know, even chicken. I mean, you could do chicken in, in the Wonder Pot, too, of course. Um, it's not going to take this long. Beans, especially dry beans. Now, if you're going to use canned beans, of course, that's only going to take maybe two, three hours max to heat through and cook whatever else is in with it. But uh, 
And as you see, there's no real loss of liquid in it's this It's an interesting product. You know, the Wonder Bag. And, you know, if you guys are, you know, wanting to save on electricity and the environment and everything like that, you know, this can be a really good investment, I think. And I think it would go a long way for anyone who are preppers and anyone who, like me, just wants to find other ways to cook um, in a situation where you may be camping or whatever, no electricity, you know, if you live in a, in an area where you experience, you know, tornadoes and hurricanes and things like that, where you may go a couple of days without electricity, as long as you got charcoal for your grill and you have a Wonder Bag, Hey, why not? And a sun oven, which I have one of those that I'm going to be doing a lot of videos on. So anyways, guys, with that, I will see y'all in the next meal.